Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card, we are taking a look at what is memorable about you and what do people remember and think about when they think back to you. So I have four objects for you guys to choose from. Pile number one is the fan. I don't know why I turned it on, but there we go. So we have pile one. Pile number two is the tree of life. Pile number three is the lipstick. And pile number four is the cat's banana toy. So see which object you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamps. Hey, Paul and welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what is so memorable about you. So what do people think back to when they think of you? Now, you guys chose the electric fan. I'm going to start with the Osho Zen deck and then we're going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number one, please, spirit guides. Pile number one, tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. What is so memorable about my pile number ones? We have breakthrough. What is so memorable about my pile number ones, please? We have flowering. We have letting go. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. Tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. What is so memorable? We have suppression. On the back of the deck, you have the burden. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up with you guys straight away. Um, there's almost this feeling of like, when I'm first around you, especially if I'm somebody that maybe looks through the lens of ego or doesn't take too much time and effort into getting to know you and all of your layers because I feel like you've had a lot of that in the past um there's this feeling of like not digesting so much like I'm around you and I'm seeing little things that you're doing but it's almost like it's going over my head you know how sometimes something can be happening but you're focused on something else like you're on autopilot doing something and there could be a noise in the background or there could be something happening in the background and your brain's picking it up but it's like in the background it's like the subconscious so you're not fully aware of it but it is is happening there's like almost a feeling like that of you doing little things or saying little things and it's almost like I don't understand it at the time or I don't quite get it at the time or I'm not fully seeing it at the time and then let's say a year passes and m me and you have like drifted or whatever I look over and there's this tree of fruit and I'm like analyzing and going back wait they did say this they did say they were going to do that and i didn't think anything of it and now they've got these fruits because i keep being taken back with being taken back with you guys to like a selective of souls or just something that's happened throughout your life where people might not have seen um you know the energy that you were putting into a project they might not have seen you know all of those aspects of you maybe because they didn't see it in themselves they didn't see it in you and then it's almost like i'm watching you bloom somewhere else or i'm seeing you bloom with someone else and it's like oh there's, there's a lot of aha or oh or it's like i'm reviewing and going back to um the time period when we were close or when we were around each other and it's like actually you were always doing that actually you were always saying that actually those signs were already there um i just wasn't paying attention at the time there's this reference of like missed opportunity for a lot of you guys i feel like you've dealt with with past connections like missed opportunity or i didn't realize um <clears throat> you know what that golden nugget was i just thought it was like something in the ground or i thought it was like you can come by it a lot but now that i'm looking back that was actually rare i just didn't realize it yet so there's something there that you've dealt with um and i'm being told at earlier stages of your life whatever that means for you whatever you would consider the earlier stages of your life that's what i'm being shown um and in terms of what is memorable about you, there's this feeling of, um, I don't know if you guys are quite scorpionic or you guys may have a lot of um, 8th house placements, maybe 12th house placements. Um, I feel very like in my own world, I feel very, it could be my water pile, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I feel like I'm in my own world. I feel like I'm... Uh, 
like I, I see you kind of like going home and it's almost like a hermit energy and I see you getting things done or doing things that you don't share with other people and that could be aspects of your spiritual journey that could be you just connecting to your deeper emotions that you don't showcase to everybody um that could be something that you're working on that everybody else isn't seeing that could be anything but there's almost this feeling of like I didn't see all of you and then all of a sudden it's like this beanstalk is just growing and I'm like whose is that and it's my pile number ones and it's like that's what they were doing I feel like people get a lot of ahas with you like in the moment they might not see it I keep being shown like and this has come up before in my readings that chameleon energy where it's like it's not even chameleon it more so feels like a mirage but it's almost like yeah it's almost like a mirage like I can see something growing in the distance but as I'm stepping towards it, it's almost like hidden um, and I think it's because you keep things very close to your chest. You don't showcase sometimes the best of yourself. It's like, I'm reserving that for when I trust people. So it's like, I'm walking towards this mirage. I'm in this desert and I can see this, what looks like a lake. And I'm running and I'm running. But the closer I get, it's not there and I'm confused. But then all of a sudden, I'm seeing everybody drinking from that lake, like, 10 miles down. And I'm like, wait, I'm confused. And it's like, I'm reversing back and I'm like, huh? Huh? Like, there's a lot of confusion with people from your past in terms of their memory of you because it's like I remember these little things and now you've actually made them bloom like I remember these little things and now that beanstalk has actually grown like I I remember that it's like can you imagine how that guy who sold that um those beans to Jack felt when he just like took the cow and um he gave the magic beans and then he's going up on this beanstalk and getting like the golden goose and all of those things like can you imagine how he would have felt like oh my god if he would have heard it there's that type of vibe coming through with you guys as pile and there's a lot of because i feel like you guys are constantly growing i feel like you guys are constantly evolving i feel like you guys are constantly shifting and i feel like i just keep being shown little breadcrumbs of little things that you may say or do but it's like people aren't picking it up at the time people aren't seeing it at the time they're not understanding it at the time and later on they're like whoa okay and the ones that know know though the ones that know it's not a case of what is memorable about you because they're still with you they're still in your circle they're still on your team they're still around you you know what i mean they get it they're building beanstalks of their own they're building castles of their own and trees of their own they get it but i feel like you've dealt with a lot of people that just haven't quite seen you um or like they've they've seen you but they haven't really seen you if that makes sense um it's almost like they've seen a bud not the full bloom and I think you've dealt with that quite a bit because the people that have seen your full bloom I feel like would still be around you and still be aware of you and still in your circle that's kind of how it feels um to be honest with you uh breakthrough flowering letting go suppression I feel as well, and I don't know why this is coming through, but it's because I'm looking at the number eight and I'm thinking of the eighth house and with the letting go on the water, it's like I'm clearing something. I feel like when people think back to you, there's almost this feeling when you're around, or like, because you feel like home when people are around. And I feel like when people are in your life, I do feel like you pour into them. So there's almost this feeling of like, I, I don't need to tell them X, Y, and Z. Like, I'll tell them tomorrow. I don't need to showcase all of this. Like, I'll tell them another time. And then it's like, when you pull your energy back or you step away, or they're no longer around you, I keep being shown a whirlpool. And it's almost like things I should have said or things I wish I said or feelings that I'm not even fully aware of within myself, but they're coming out, you know, like feelings I didn't realize were there or um, maybe even frustrations that I didn't even know were there or... um. Like, there's a lot of nostalgia and, like, memory. And it's, like, it's hard for me to put my finger on because I feel like a lot of people that, like, connect with you and, and have relationships with you, I feel like you bring a certain frequency that I think people struggle to put into words. It's, like, I don't know what it is. I'm just drawn to this person. Or I don't know what it is. I'm just, they make me feel happy. Or I don't know what it is. They're just very healing to me. And I feel like people that wouldn't understand it from that spiritual lens I feel like people have a hard time putting into words like what it is because I, I start to struggle then I'm seeing this whirlpool of feelings going round and it's like I don't know what it is it's just them like I don't know what it is like I feel like I miss them or I feel I had those feelings but I don't know what I had those feelings towards like I don't know you know 
I, I don't know why I didn't act on it. It's like there's this feeling here, but I don't know what to make of it. And I feel like the feeling is more frequency that you would have brought that people may find it hard to put into words um, or put into a sentence, you know, um, because it's more of a feeling, you know, it's more of an energy, if you will. Like that's the that that's what I'm picking up. It's not necessarily anything you're doing. It's just your presence. And you may get told a lot like, oh, when I'm around you, I just feel very light. or I feel very safe. Or, you know, when I'm around you, I just feel really confident or when I'm you know you really help me see um the lighter side of things or you really get me through these situations I feel like at times as well you may have stepped towards connections or stepped towards relationships in a very healing way like you've nurtured and helped and given and poured into and maybe you've learned to have those boundaries and be around people that want to be around you not need you but I do feel like some people miss that energy that you bring it's coming through to me like a goblet of like healing water and i feel like people do miss that nurturing but it's more than just that like i, I there's, there's almost a reference from spirit to make sure i'm saying it's more than just that it's a frequency it's a frequency that you bring that you've tapped into within yourself that's there that people might not be able to see fully at the time but when they're gone it's like they know that it's gone because they miss something but they can't quite understand what that feeling is so it's kind of going around in a whirlpool but it's that frequency I hope that makes sense. Um, I hope that makes sense. Suppression, the burden. Hmm. I don't know why. I don't know if you're when you're around people, or I want to say maybe when you used to be around people, um, you were quite vocal about your feelings or how you felt, or you'd pour into people and be very given in that way. Because there's this feeling of repression here with the suppression card of like, I should have said this, I should have done this, I should have said this, I should have paid more attention. Because it's like, I'm, now that I'm, it's like, now that you're gone, this is the thing, now that you're gone, I'm looking back and I'm thinking, I should have done this, I should have paid more attention to this, or I didn't understand that at the time. There's a lot of that. I feel like when you leave and people start to really feel those feelings with you, I feel like they go back and kind of relive your connection and go, oh, I should have paid attention to this, or I should have looked at this, or I should have done more of this. I feel like that with you specifically, there's been a lot of spiraling and going round and round um, to try and understand... Uh, yeah, to try and understand, like, why did I go wrong? Why did they cut me off? Or how did that beanstalk end up growing when they weren't around me? Like, what happened? Like, w were they always talking about the beanstalk? Yeah, they were. They were talking about these beans. Like, there's a lot of that. And I'm going round and round and round and round. I feel like people spiral around the connection. Like, what is it that I feel? What should I do should have done differently? I don't know if you're the type to just cut off. Like, I'll give you my all and then I'll pull back. I don't know if you're that type. But there's a feeling of I keep going round and round and round. And I feel like I'm spiraling and stuck on something. I feel people do that with you quite a bit. So I don't know if you cut off, no closure. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't have acted that way. I'm just going to cut off. Um, I don't know if you do that or not. But it's like everything was really warm. And now it's gone. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And it's like the fan as well. You know when it's like really hot and you're like, oh my god, it's boiling. And you put the fan on to like chill yourself down. But then... When we don't have the heat and the sun isn't out, it's like, oh my God, where's the sun? Get out. You know what I mean? It's that type of vibe. Um, that's what I'm picking up. So let's pull your oracle cards. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. Yeah, there's definitely a certain frequency you bring into people's lives. What have we got here? We've got Libra. Consideration, fairness, and harmony. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. What do people miss about my pile number ones? What is so memorable about them, Leo? Self-confidence, loyalty, and creativity. One more card, please, spirit guides. What do people... We have house two. Physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Okay. Okay, and the back of the deck you have the North Node designed to have. All right, I'll put this over here actually. Okay. Right, so Leo, self confidence, loyalty, and creativity. You are a real one. That's what I want to say. I think you're somebody that's very loyal. 
and I think that you're somebody that shows up for people I feel like you really are kind of like a rare gem and the other rare gems see it so the other rare gems you know are around you and understand that and they're in your circle the red the people that don't see that the people that are just any gem will do type of thing and they don't see this is a rare one you know what I mean like this is a rare one you've got in your hands I feel like they they don't understand the complexities of you until you're gone and then it's like oh wait that was like real though like that was a real thing though that was like that person because I keep thinking back to like that person was a good friend though that person really did show up for me though that person really did look out for me oh that was a really good relationship they really did take care of me it's like it's gone now like I didn't re I feel like certain people their karma is that loss of you and not realizing what they had until it was gone I feel like that is something people a lot of people might have had to learn with you because I, I feel like you've had to learn boundaries and to open yourself to the right people. But I feel like other people have learned, like, not to... I feel like when you're searching for diamonds... Um, how do I put this into words? I'm seeing somebody searching for diamonds. But there's, amongst the diamonds, many a rock that is coloured like a diamond. And it's like people that aren't slowing down and feeling and taking their time to care they're missing those diamonds because they just keep picking up these rocks and then they crumble and they're picking up another rock and it's crumbling and it's only when they look back it's like oh that was that was a diamond i feel like people have had to learn the hard way there and i also feel like there's been a mirror there of you having to learn who is worth your time and worth your energy because i feel like at times you've nurtured and poured into people and i feel like it's been to people maybe like broken birds people that were looking for healing but it's like you weren't able to get anything back then because they weren't able to supply that energy back. Because like I said, I feel like you guys are very given souls. I feel like you guys really pour into people and I feel like you deserve that balance back. But I just think you've got so much to give. I feel like at times you've poured into people that just didn't have that same energy to give back or they didn't see, they hadn't met themselves as deeply as you had or they hadn't connected to their heart space as deeply as you had so you only would have been given little droplets back and that wouldn't have been fair, you know what I mean? And I feel like there's been times where then you've kind of like shut off that energy and people have seen that like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, because if we take one of the, put the sun and the moon on those scales there, if we take something off one of the scales, the other one just drops down. So I feel like people really feel your weight when you're gone, you know what I mean? Um, um, and really, really, you know, think back to that. Like, I should have done something different. Should I have pulled more weight? Should I have given more? What did I do? I feel like people spiral with you a lot. Um, that's what I'm being shown. Physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. I don't know why with that card. It, I don't know if you make moves in silence in regards to, like, money that you make, the career paths you go down, things you're studying. Um, but that's what I'm getting with the with the house too like there's this feeling of not being aware that you have something until we don't speak anymore and then you're driving that car or you've moved into that home or you've purchased this or that career just blew up for you it's like I never knew like you might have mentioned it lightly but I didn't think anything of it like you might have mentioned you wanted to study something but I didn't know you were actually studying it and now you're just gonna got that degree or you might have mentioned that you know you fancied buying a new car but you never went and did it but now you're gonna got this really nice car or you never mentioned that you were open to being in a connection or relationship but now you're in one like I didn't see it before there's something where like a lot of what you physically put your energy into is a need to know type of vibe and I feel like people might not see that until you're gone and then it's like that tree is bearing a lot of fruits and I didn't know so there's something there where it's like people then spiral and go back like I didn't know they were doing this I didn't know they were doing that I didn't know that they were you know passing this test or getting that diploma like I didn't know but there's a lot and again I'm spiraling 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 in. I feel like you're the type where people may try and inspect or check up on the socials especially if you're somebody that's very private on things like that um you're definitely not a show and tell person that's what I'm gonna say so pile number one that is what I have for you guys I really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did I'm sending you guys all of my love I hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what is memorable about you. What do people think back to? Uh, so you guys chose the Tree of Life. I'm going to start with the Osho 
Zan deck and then we're going to move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number two please spirit guides pile number two tap me into the collective of my pile number twos we have new vision i don't know if i have to cover that i think i'm gonna have to cover it just in case just in case um pile number two please for guides oh your cards are jumping out for me we have silence pile number two please break guides what do people miss about my pile number twos what is so memorable about my pile number twos what do people think back to uh in regards to my pile number twos we have completion what do people think back to with my pile number twos we have sharon on the back of the deck you have the fool okay one thing that I will say about you is that you guys are missed, and I want to say emotionally missed. I think that you guys particularly, when I say you pour into people, I feel like you have a way of, um, it's not even just a case of pouring into people. I think that you guys are very, I want to say loving, and I don't know why I'm being taken to the heart space, and it feels very, very fluid for some reason. Like, I, I don't know if you have, like, Venus and Scorpio, Pisces, um cancer that's how it's coming through but it's like the way your loving is very fluid i want to say like you may have a water moon as well so again scorpio cancer pisces or you may have those planets in the water houses so that's the fourth house the eighth house or the twelfth house because i just feel like first of all i feel like people miss your touch i feel like you guys either you're touchy feelery feelery either you're touchy feely or the way that you know when you're in a connection or in a that friendship you may be somebody that's just very cuddly um you may just be somebody that offers a lot of support like i wouldn't say a lot offers a lot of support with your hands but that sounds weird i mean it like holding hands with people like putting your arms around people like um you know like when people do this you know when they're holding somebody's hand like that type of thing like i'm seeing a lot of that like i almost feel like i miss your touch because i'm hearing that justin bieber song ghost where he sings i miss your touch on nights when i'm hollow so there's a lot of that coming through but it's like i don't know why i feel like i'm looking at somebody and i'm almost like holding them and i'm like seeing them um and i'm just i'm almost like speaking affirmation to them like i'm maybe speak an affirmation to their inner child or just their heart space in general and it's very very healing like that is the feeling that's coming up like I feel like when you when you're gone I feel like people miss that depth to you and the way that you emotionally connect with people that's one thing that I'm gonna say um because I almost feel like I'm with you and my heart feels like it's expanding I feel like you really have a way of touching people of getting deep with people connecting to people very deeply uh which is really um really really beautiful that i'm being shown another thing that i want to say that people miss about you it's coming through like i d it could be a style but it's almost like your aesthetic like i feel like little things that you do i feel like you do a lot of things with love like you emotionally connect to things that you do so when you like you have a certain type of movies that like fit the vibe of who you are you have a certain car that you drive that fits the vibe of who you are you have a certain perfume or cologne you have maybe certain makeup there's like a style there's like bands you listen to music that you listen to ways that you dress little ornaments around your house like i feel like little things like that people think back to in regards to what is memorable about you like that will always remind me of that person like that emoji will always remind me of that person that scent will always remind me of that person when i see that logo i smell that 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 cake or i you know smell that perfume or i see those flowers like it will always remind me of my pile number twos there's like a lot of because i feel like it's almost like channeling almost like energetically it's like i emotionally connect to this i emotionally connect to this and it's like a piece of you is there so it's like if i'm to connect to that it's like a piece of you is is there too because I, I and i relate that to you i relate that color to you i relate that emoji to you it can be as little and light as it can be or it can be as deep as it can be like that home you know that um that place that we went on a date there's like a lot of that that people think back to um that people remember about you uh yeah i feel like you have a way of really emotionally connecting with the people that you're around and creating a level of nostalgia just because of like i always feel like you're sat in the scene but it's more so with 
the intent behind things you know what i mean you could be somebody as well for people's birthdays or christmases you could put a lot of effort into the decorations you put up you could be a lot of, put a lot of um a lot of effort into people's like birthday presents and um christmas presents and things like that and again it's an emotional i'm being shown your hands some of you guys may be like reiki healers or healers you may do a lot with your hands because i keep being shown um I'm picking up Taurus for some reason. Taurus and Libra. They're the two signs that I'm that I'm being shown right now. Um, but yeah, I'm being taken to the hands because it's like I'm like when I'm handing you that cake, like I thought of it. Like you love like Victoria sponge and you love buttercream. So that's the cake I got. And you love the color blue. So I got blue ribbons and you love it. It's like I'm tailoring to you. I, I understand you. I'm taking the time to implore and understand you. So everything that I'm bringing to you, everything that I'm giving you, um, it's like I'm pouring, I'm pouring that into something and passing it on to you. And I feel like with you, people get quite nostalgic. You may have a lot of cancer in your chart as well but I feel like you make people feel quite like nostalgic and I keep being shown people maybe hanging on to things like oh this reminds me of them like that key that present that pair of shoes like it reminds me of them it reminds me of that time and I'm kind of like harboring it if that makes sense um that is what I'm really picking up on and it's a feeling that you bring I feel like it's a feeling uh, with panel number one, it was more like a vibration, a frequency. With you, it's like a feeling because you're very present for it. You know what I mean? It's like I'm consuming you. And I feel like, especially in terms of like, no, it's not just relationships. I feel like it's friendships too. I feel like you give your all and I feel like you consume people. I feel like I'm being shown like an octopus just wrapping all of its arms around someone. So it's like, you're in my world. You're part of me now. Um, You're connected to me now. You're in my chamber now. Like you're in here. So it's like, I'm opening all of myself up and hope you do too. Like, I feel like you do that with people. So there's always that emotional connection there and that, that energy and that frequency there, which is really, uh, really beautiful. Completion, Sharon the fool why do we have completion why do we have completion i feel like certain people think back to you as well of like a time in my life and i learned all of these things and it's like you're that big part of their life like that was a time in my life where i was really extroverted and i was out there and this person was like encouraging that and was around me all the time that theme of my life that time period that person it's just like the epitome of it you know what i mean you know when you like listen to like celebrities and it's like remember the 2011s and that celebrity was really big and they're like the epitome of that time period like rihanna in like 2011 2012 like she had songs coming out constantly well actually all through the late 2000s early 2010s but that time period like you think of rihanna or you think of you know that song for that time period you think of that trend when everyone was wearing Uggs or wearing Crocs or wearing big headbands, like you, you think of it, there's something about people thinking back to time periods and it's like, you fit in there. That time period where that person fit in there. And you may have had a lot of connections in this lifetime, whether it's friendships, relationships that were kind of soulmate-y. And the thing about soulmates is, I know it's like bigged up, but we have many. And once we learn, we can flow and, and grow beyond that then. And we can kind of move on if we've learned a lesson we needed to learn. And I feel like you had soulmates. You've had people in your life that you've shared a lot of experiences with that people will think back to you like that. And there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of emotional connection there that I keep being shown. Um, and I think you're incredibly healing for people as well, especially with the silence card and the moon up the top. But if you see the face in the moon, I don't know if you can see it. Um, The face below the... uh the moon but i just feel like you're somebody that's very very nurturing and i feel like you're somebody that is able to connect even people that aren't used to connecting so deeply in like in relationships people that may have even stepped towards you thinking oh this is going to be casual or this is going to be light-hearted i feel like you kind of hook there it's like i'm being shown two people's third eyes like hooking together um like the moon energy there and it's like i'm helping you heal or i'm helping you grow type of thing i feel like you do that for people a lot but people miss your touch people miss the way you pour into pour into them the way that you see them the way that you love that's honestly what it is the way that you love people uh and the way that you you what's this word what is the word for the feeling i'm feeling how do i put this into words the way that you the way that you celebrate people I want to say the way that you celebrate people 
I feel like you make people feel very, very good. And I feel like you bring people down to depths that they would normally hide from, you know? Um, that's what I'm seeing. So let's pull your oracle cards. Pile number one, please. Pile number two, please, sorry. <laughs> All I heard was that from Spirit. Two. Like, no, it's two. Um, pile number two, please, Spirit Guides. Pile number two. Pile two, please, Spirit Guides. Pile number two. What is so memorable? We have a yin. I love how we have the water. The water signs here and the earth signs. Intuition, trust, patience, spirituality, and receptivity. Someone here has got a lot of cancer in their chart or strong cancer placements. We have Aries and we have Virgo. And the back of the deck, you have air. Open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. Okay. Shove that down there. Yes. Okay. Now I'll put it over here. Okay. Let's go. Um, Yin, Aries, Virgo. Okay. Like I said, the, the, honestly, the way I'm... I'll put you in the analogy that I'm being shown and the imagery that I'm being shown. I'm seeing you in a lake and grabbing onto someone's hand and then that person like slowly walking into the lake and it's like before that person realizes it like there's no ground beneath them and you're just like kind of like a siren almost you're in the middle of a lake <laughs> and it's just getting deeper and deeper but like you're holding that person and it's almost like you're helping that person overcome the fear of the lake and also tap into like those deeper feelings and it's just me and you and we're just together here in this lake that's how you make people feel and that's why people miss them when you're not there. Because it's like you would have brought people to that level. That's honestly the feeling I'm being brought into for you guys. Um, Aries, independent, bravery, and passion. Independence, bravery, and passion. Inter integrity, uh, reverence, and service. Virgo. I feel as well, I feel like you speak life into people. I feel like if people are to start like a new job or a new career path or to, you know they're to start like building up their own company or take a leap of faith I feel like you cheerlead and big people up and I feel like you may have like you may be a bit of a visionary because I see you almost like giving I'm hearing Beyonce's song upgrade you um but I'm seeing like little seeds and it's like I'm popping them I'm, I'm placing them um to help them like grow when it's like I'm speaking affirmation to them to help them grow within you within your mind within you that's what I'm being shown um and then with Virgo integrity reverence and service I just feel like somebody could bring somebody a cup of tea and it's just a cup of tea you bring somebody a cup of tea and it's like that was a good cup of tea because of the intent behind it what you put into it the emotion behind it you know um that's what i'm seeing with you it's like the intent behind it i feel like it's what the energy you're putting into it what that cup of tea means you know you know people can do actions and half the time it's not the action itself it's what it means you know, when you do little things for people, it's like, no, because you care. You know, on TikTok, they, they talk about that orange peel theory. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but if you haven't, basically, it was like women and they were getting their boyfriends to peel the orange. And if the boyfriend didn't want to peel the orange and it's like, okay, well, they don't care. But if they peel the orange, it's like no one wants to peel an orange. So if they do it for you, it's like showing like they care. They want to do it for you and make your life easier. Everyone was talking about that on TikTok, but I'm just going to use that as an example. It's like that in a way <laughs> um just in the sense that i feel like you do things with intent it's not a, it's like about the principle you know and i feel like that's why you're really really felt and your presence in that way emotionally is missed you know um so that is what i have for you pal too i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey part three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what is so memorable about you? What do people think back to with you? So you guys chose the lipstick. I'm going to start with the Osho Zen deck and then I'm going to move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. I don't know why I kept pausing between words then. I don't know why I did that. Okay, pile number three, please spirit guides. Tap me into the lipstick pile. 
tap me into my pile number threes the collective of my pile number threes what do people miss about my pile number threes please what do people miss about my pile number threes i feel like you guys are a ray of sunshine honestly because i'm hearing that song ain't no sunshine when she's gone um so i feel like you guys you know i always say like i have that pile that is like the sun the like activators very bright lights i feel like that's you guys pile number three um what do we have we have courage i love how i say that and the sun is like hitting the flower and obviously with the activator energy of the sun they help flowers grow so that's i like that bit of confirmation pile number three pile number three please Pile number three, we have playfulness. I think I'm going to have to cover this one up a little bit. Only a little bit. Well, that's a see-through crystal that defeats the object, doesn't it? Um, I'll use this butterfly. I've noticed I have, like, a little cockney twinge to my accent because my stepdad was, like, from London, cockney. And then my other dad was from the dad I grew up with, he's from um, Birmingham, so I, like, I say butterfly instead of butterfly, and my family always make fun of me for it, but that's probably why people fail to place my accent sometimes, because I, I I've taken on their actions so strongly, uh, I don't know why I'm telling you, see, there's always a pile I tell things to, there is always a pile that I start talking about myself to, and I start saying things, and I feel like a friend, and then there's always that pile you are that pile you are that pile that's very warm and you make people want to open up to you and you make people want to talk to you you are that pile because you just did it to me i feel like you got it a lot pile number three pile number three um oh goodness your cards have exploded that was we'll take that as confirmation You probably already know a lot about me <laughs> if i've done that in other readings um we have abundance pile number pile number three we have participation and the back of the deck we have the creator I love that. Look at all the golden energy here. It's funny because pile two is so moon, 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 and you guys are sun, sun, sun. Love that. Okay. Okay. What do people miss about my pile number threes? What is so memorable about my pile number threes? First of all, I feel like when you're around, whether you're the loudest person in the room or the quietest person in the room, I feel like you just have a light to you. I feel like it shows in the way that you come across. Like some people, they'll have that bright aura and that energy and that frequency similar to pile number one. And it's like the frequency. But with you, it's like I'm shining. I'm glowing. I don't know if you have glowy skin. I don't know if you just maybe you wear just like a lot of highlighter and it glows there's something about you glowing or you just standing out so it's like with pile number two they were very connected to the emotion so it was like everything they did with intent was in was with intent so everything they touched that emotion came with you're like that but sun version you're like everything that you touch any clothes that you put on it's like got that sun energy it's got that inspiration it's got that activating energy it's got that courageous energy it's got that vibrancy that people are just drawn to like a moth to a flame like i feel like you're somebody that's a very bright light and i feel like when you say things i feel like you're very funny i feel like you're somebody that looks maybe at the lighter side of life or when you give advice or you pour into people i feel like you really like i'm seeing people around you and i feel really excited i feel really inspired i feel like i've gone home and i'm thinking about you you give off very much like um like you could be in a play you could be an actor you could be a star of a show you could be on a stage you'd be the type with like amazing stage presence like you just have that you know how celebrities have like the it factor you have this you have this very strongly and i feel like people miss that when you're gone because i feel like people look up to you people look up to I don't know if you're like very like on it with like aesthetics and making things look beautiful and you know you create like that very creative you're very creative um like you may have you know your social media feeds looking you know really nice so you may have your home looking really nice or you just present yourself really nice you have your like an eye for detail and the way to do things or the way that you do makeup but it's like i'm being taken to a lot of different crafts and little skills that you have that 
half the time you're not even aware of you just do it that other people may fail to be able to do and I feel like you inspire people then because I feel like you're the type that probably get a lot of where did you get that from where did you get that lipstick from where did you get that you know um why did you learn to do that hairstyle when did you learn to dance that way how did you learn to talk that way how did you learn to um get your home looking like that where did you get those pieces with you it's intent but with pile number two it was an emotional intent with you it's like i'm creating and everything you're touching then is with intent i feel like you lift people up i feel like you ego boost people i feel like you, the light you see in life you see it in other people and you pour it into other people um and if people are around you and they don't know how to give that energy back I feel like people really, really miss your light. Because if people can't find that light within themselves, and you've probably dealt with it, because, you know, when we have something like this, we have to learn to balance it and know where to put it. We can have people that will yank on it and pull on it and want it and want, want, want and pull, you know? And I feel like you've learned in your life, okay, well, I'm not going to give all that energy to this person and that person. I'm not going to do it. Um, because this person isn't giving anything back. When you remove that and you pour it into your project, see, because wherever your light is focused, blooming. Wherever your light is focused, wherever that bright energy is going, it blooms. So when you take it away and the shade comes, what happens when the sun is now in the winter? The flowers wither. You know what I mean? So I feel like even when you've pulled it away from people, they've had to learn a lesson of like, you've got to find that within. You can't find that in another person. You've got to find that within. And I feel like people have had to learn that with you. I feel like you're very connected to your inner child with the playfulness card coming through. I feel like you're somebody that's very wondrous. I feel like your personality and who you are is very endearing and very infectious. And I feel like people miss that when you're gone. People miss that light aside, that bright aside. People miss the that infectious energy you bring. People miss your humor. People miss that, you know, that style that you bring, the, the way that you carry yourself. I do feel sometimes you may draw in some copycats and people that may mimic whether they do it consciously or unconsciously I've learned a lot of the times yes people can mimic and copy but sometimes they genuinely are doing it subconsciously they don't realize what they're doing they're just so drawn to something it's like they start mimicking it I've learned that there is a duality there um but you may have people you know mimicking consciously or subconsciously and it's like when it's gone it's like what do I do what do I do I feel like you've been drawn to that a lot and I feel like you're my pile that I want to say you're very attractive and I want to say that the things that you do there's just so much bright energy it's like I want to be like that um I'm drawn to that I want to know where they got all of these things from so it's almost like a supply it's like you know when you watch your favorite tv show that you're obsessed with like I love Bridgerton right now. I'm on my Bridgerton wave. I've been on it for a while, but like lately, I don't know what it is. I think it's because the new series is coming out. I'm obsessed. I catch myself talking like them and like speaking like them and like I kind of take it on. And I've always loved that style anyway, but I really kind of become it because I have a passion for that. Like I just love Bridgerton. I think it's so cool. Um that's why I love Bath so much because they filmed that but it's like I take that on it's like I'm excited and then like the other night I was scrolling through see I'm telling you my stuff but it adds to the reading so I'll say the other night I was scrolling through um YouTube videos of like all the different series well there's two different series but like scrolling through and like the interviews and like the style and I was like looking at it on Pinterest like I become it and I feel like you have that energy but just you like I feel like if somebody like falls across your social media or sees you it's like I want to be with friends with that person or I want to be around that person or I want to like I'm looking at their social media I'm seeing screenshots being taken like people get that from you so I feel like when you're gone it's like it's like I want more like I want more of it you know um that's what I'm being shown because you're very creative you're a very creative force 100% and I think that because of that like I heard the song at the beginning ain't no sunshine when she's gone I feel like people really feel your absence then when you're gone because you bring such a bright light to people's lives and I, like you're the type as well to um you're the type to let's say you have a friend and you're able to like put that friend on to a lot like this makeup would suit you this would suit you like this um you'd love this tv show i'm not into it but i know you'd love it or i heard this song the other day i don't know how i feel about it but i know you're gonna love it like you help see people and like tailor like 
that to people i feel like you help people like create or give them little seeds to help them create or like little things that may be dormant they don't want to shine out i feel like you activate it to come out i feel like you give people a lot of compliments you pour into people you lift people up you're a very bright light like that and i feel like um that's what people miss as well when you're gone but it's just a warmth i feel like when you're in people's lives i feel like it's a lot more fun it's a lot more bright it's a lot more um like I'm way more connected to my inner child when you're around like that's the vibe that I'm feeling and I feel like people think back to you in that way like I don't know you give kind of like superstar energy it's like fire energy so Sag Sagittarius Aries and Leo but I'm thinking of Leo just because I'm seeing somebody like a star like a play like I'm a, I'm playing a role like I, I'm being shown that so um yeah yeah and there's just something about like i see somebody and it's almost like i'm looking at you like maybe getting dressed or putting makeup on or whatever and it's like you look really good but like i'm getting dressed around you or i'm putting makeup around you and you're like wear this do this so i'm thinking back to a time period where you were in my life where i acted like this or i did these things or i dressed like this and now i'm not in that period of my life and that person's not around but i wish that they were around because i know i looked really good that i you know dressed really cool there. There's, there's something about that coming through as well that i feel people think back to so that's um you may like when you're in relationships with people like put them on to like clothes and get them to dress better you may do that with relationships and stuff um yeah i tend to do that sometimes <laughs> you should wear this you should try this um pile number three pile number three i feel like you're quite a leader 100% pile number three we have house four pile number three please we have Uranus we have house eight one more card please spirit guides one more card and house nine spiritual growth I was only meant to put three down but I did four for you it's fine we have house nine spiritual growth in the back of the deck you have gemini curiosity intellect and networking let me just there we go there we go okay um house four cultural and family roots home peace and comfort radical change uranus house eight transformation karma facing fears and legacy the thing about like having the bright light and shining that out i feel like you like i'm being shown okay this is what i'm being shown this is like the analogy that i'm being shown i'm being shown you in a room i said being shown a hundred times then i'm being shown you in a room and you've got like a bunch of people around you and they're learning from you and you're teaching them and whatever and you instantly say to everybody in the room okay everybody up on your feet we're gonna do a little dance and it's just freestyle so the people that are similar to you with that fiery energy it's like oh my god i feel so excited like if that person can do it i can so they're up dancing but the people that have those wounds of like i don't want to be seen i'm gonna make a fool of myself and there's like that worry and it comes from maybe their home life that comes from when they grow up they weren't you know um projected onto in that way they weren't like that spotlight wasn't on them in that way they weren't taught to open themselves up like that like they start to feel that like insecurity and that oh no 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 oh i don't know i don't know if i want to deal with this and it's like y'all like I, I see you with like almost like little sun like fireballs it's like come on like get up everybody up but it's like then there's people kind of getting triggered and i feel like sometimes you trigger people into um how do i put this into words like it's almost like i'm looking at you and it's like i'm jealous that you're up there dancing and running around and i feel self-conscious like i want to stay sat on the floor even though you're telling me to get up like i'm almost like projecting onto you but then it's like i'm going home and i'm and i'm kind of going around in a circle with like oh like i feel insecure i feel less than or i feel all of these feelings but they're starting to untangle and the more they're untangling i'm going through a trans transformation and you know let's say a year later or two years later i finally feel ready to stand up and dance because that was triggered within me it made me want to be confident like that it made me want to activate that energy within myself so i feel like you send people on a on a metamorphosis sometimes whether you trigger them or you inspire them the inspired ones just zoom up the triggered ones i feel like they they frolic a little bit 
and then they they kind of combust a little later on so i wouldn't take on when people project onto you because i feel like sometimes people might project like i say we can cast a light on people's shade when you know we're shining that light out you know we can tend to do that but that's what i'm seeing um with you guys i feel like you're very very creative and i feel like you're somebody as well I, I feel like it's what people see about you. I feel like people see you as something that's a bit of a daredevil and somebody that's constantly taking risks. And I feel like when you're gone, I feel like what's memorable about you is like, I'm thinking back to, I wonder what they'd be doing now. I wonder how far they would have gone now. I wonder what they'd be doing. I wonder what they'd be wearing. It's like I'm. It's like that show that you know was good, but you haven't got the right streaming app to watch it. So it's like you're hearing little things through the grapevine. It's that type of vibe, but it's also... When I was around that person, I was a bit of a daredevil. I was doing these things and now I'm not. Like, I feel like you encourage people to do those things too, which is really, really fun. Um, and that's what people think back to with you as well. I feel as well with you, people either have screenshots or people think back to like words you would have said or like outfits you would have worn, the way you styled your hair, visual things, things that I can visually see. I feel like people might, or just words you could have said, whether you like Facebook them, tweet them, whatever. It's like, I've screenshot it because that hit, like that really hit and I'm holding on to that. I feel like people do that with you guys. And what's quite interesting is that lipstick, it's a Too Faced lipstick. It's that it's called Lady Bold. Um, so it's like that boldness, you know what I mean? The shade is Comeback Queen. <laughs> so um yeah i just feel like you have that kind of like regalness to you and you just have that confidence and courage and boldness to you you know um yeah so pile number three that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey pal for welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what is so memorable about you so what do people think back to in regards to you what do people miss about you when you're gone so you guys chose the banana pile um i'm gonna start with the osho zen which for some reason i'm already shuffling and then we're gonna move into your oracle card so let's get in so pile number four please spirit guides tap me into the collective of my pile number fours the collective of my pile number fours what is so memorable about my pile number fours what is so memorable about my pile number fours oh we have isolation what is so memorable about my pile number fours please spirit guides we have the source what is so memorable about my pile at number fours we have ripeness oh goodness what is so memorable about my pile number fours ordinarius ordinariness and then we have flowering oh, i'm gonna have to cover her why is that little butterfly there it is i'll use the butterfly okay so we have flowering at the back of the deck okay okay so what people think back to with you i feel like what people are um i keep feeling like i'm getting something wrong in the sense of i feel like you guys are very individualistic and i feel like you guys are people that maybe spend some time by yourself it might not be necessarily isolated and you could just be very good with your own company and i feel like at times maybe you've had friends or people around you that's almost like expected you to show up constantly or expected you to constantly be available and there's almost this feeling of like i'm taking like this i asked this person to hang out today and this person said no i'm not interested today like i don't want to do it today maybe next week or something like that and it's almost like i'm taking that seriously but then it's like that time apart then it's like i'm realizing that that person it wasn't that i was supposed to take that so seriously that that's just that person like that person's very fluid and that person's just constantly moving about on their own terms and on their own wave and i was taking it seriously and i was getting frustrated when in actuality they were just doing their thing like i almost feel like i'm festering over something or i'm 
was thinking in my head like oh we're in an argument or we're not speaking when all in all this person's just like coasting like that person just went on a holiday to Tenerife like that person you know they um they were just with their family or they just needed some time to rest but it's almost like I took it as like offense because I see people thinking back to you and being like I don't think it was as serious as I made it out like I don't think that was as serious as what I thought it's almost like I got triggered when they pulled back or when they wanted to do their own thing but that wasn't really it and I keep being shown that because the 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 leader of your reading was the isolation so it's almost like i feel like sometimes people when they're around you like constantly i feel like sometimes they don't understand maybe the way that you look at life or the way that you move i feel like you're somebody that may be just very like restrictive with how much you give or you could be somebody that just has very strong boundaries and you're just somebody that likes to do things by yourself like to go for a walk by yourself want you know want to go and do certain things like on your own or enjoy that or you could be somebody that's constantly growing and evolving and you need space to be by yourself to grow and then come back um that's what i'm being shown as well and i feel like people because i keep being shown people like thinking back to you especially people that might have cut away from you or took you needing time by yourself as like a fence and pulled away it's almost like i'm looking back and i see you like it, it's always like you bloom 10 times harder or you have uh grown into something completely different or i'm starting to look back at other connections you've had and i've noticed that actually you are a bit of you know like a wanderer you are somebody that just takes their time and you know does things on their own terms and maybe i shouldn't have jumped the gun so i feel like you deal with that sometimes with people where they think back and they're like oh maybe i shouldn't have oh maybe i took that wrong like i'm, I'm being shown that as well um as well i want to say like you guys are very experimental and i feel like it could be that daredevil -y energy coming through as well but i feel like when you're around people i feel like you get people not necessarily out of the shell but like doing things maybe they wouldn't normally do i feel like you're that friend that may like have people try new restaurants or like let's go to this like pool place and like i've never heard of it it's like you almost give people experiences or you give people new um perspectives in a way but not in the sense that like pile number three they almost activating people with you it's not that it's almost like you help people get onto their own feet and do certain things on their own and bring people it's almost like i'm it's not bringing people out of the shell that's not what it is it's helping people access their own individuality and uniqueness and their own courage um and i feel because sometimes with connections we can we can be not all the time but if it's too much we can become like pandered to if that makes sense or coaxed into it and sometimes we need that but other times we need a bit of tough love and it's like we need a little bit of like i need to stand on my own two feet and i feel like when people are around you it's almost like you help them stand on their own two feet or know what to do or give them that level of leeway uh, that they can tap into their own like individuality or their own uniqueness there if that makes sense because I feel like you're somebody that does like you may be somebody that doesn't follow the crowd you could be somebody that doesn't follow the lifestyle everybody else does you could listen to music that isn't mainstream so it's like you're doing all these things that are very individual to you and I feel like that's something that people miss then when you're not around because it's like I feel like that rubs off on other people where how do I put it into words it's like when I'm around you, I'm blooming, but I'm more social or I'm more of a busy bee or I have all of these new experiences. But when you're gone, I don't have those type of experiences. I don't have those um, type of memories because you were the one that was like coaxing me to do that, if that makes sense. That's kind of like how you come across. It's like, just do it, just do it, just do it. Like you're one of those people. Uh, it's also like, get rid of your restraints, get rid of your restraints, just do it. And I feel like you bring people into that. So when you're gone, it's like, oh, the restraints have come back. And it's like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, and I think people do look up to you in a way as well. 100%. Um, ripeness, ordinariness. You're a breath of fresh air. The only way I can describe it, I'm an Animal Crossing girly, right? And you know, like, if you've ever played Animal Crossing, you'll have trees and you'll always have like a certain fruit on the trees so it could be like cherries it could be peaches in my town it's peaches right so when you'd come across another piece of fruit or you'd go to another town and bring back their cherries or bring back that i'm sure there's bananas as an option as well you can like plant that and grow that tree with that the different type of fruit so it's like 
you're that different type of fruit from the other town like you're that different flavor that it's like limited edition like you're that for people so when you're gone it's like oh i can't wait till it comes back because i know that's going to be like a unique experience when i'm around that person or we do certain things um or that person's just very unique and i feel like people i wouldn't say people mirror you at all or they could it's it's more so like i'm looking at you and i think you're cool like you know exactly what wine you like you know exactly what coffee you like you know exactly um you know what i see you having like little facts and knowing little things as well and it's like you're just very much of an individual and it's like that's exciting because it's like what i like it's like it's making me mirror and think about myself like what do i like what's my signature like what wine do i drink what do i like to do on a sunday morning like it's like i'm tailoring that type of experience to myself then so i feel like when you're gone it's like what are they up to like it's almost like i'm living through you i feel like when you're gone i feel like people like the memory of you is like the weird and wonderful th little things that you do and just like your own little world and you know the world that you live in because i feel like you're almost on a different frequency maybe than people around you that you normally converse with so it's like what are they up to now what are they you know what are they doing now i wonder what you know what new things they found and um i don't know it's like i'm pondering over that and i think that's what people miss and what's quite memorable about you even to little things like i'm being shown somebody with keys like keys for their car keys for their home and like a certain key chain chain that they picked up from somewhere that was like way away from me like let's say we live in canada you know that person got that keychain when they were in japan and it's like that reminds me of them it's like these little things you know i i feel like you're i feel like you're a unique person i feel like you have unique experiences and i i, I don't know i think people think back to that a lot with you because it's like so different to what people maybe used to so it stands out i hope that makes sense so pile number four Pile number four, please, for guides. We have house nine, spiritual growth. Two more cards, please, for guys. What is memorable about my pile number fours? <clears throat> we have fire, confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. And then we have cardinal, instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. Some strong Aries energy coming through. Sagittarius. Um, I want to say Gemini too. The back of the deck, you have house five, passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. Okay. You know when you were young and you'd go over to somebody else's house and they had toys that you didn't have? So, like, the toys you had in your house, you were so used to them because you played with them all the time. It was just like, you yeah, know, whatever, they're my toys. But then you go over to that friend's house and they have, like, the Barbie train or the My Little Pony or the Lego that you don't have in your house. It's so cool because it, it's not what you're used to. And you're like, oh, my God, that's really cool. They have this, 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 and this. And you go home and you think about it. Like, I want that. I want that bat stall. I want that, um uh aeroplane i want those oids remember those oids they were like metal um uh, magnets and you chuck them in the air and they connected and they were like Zzz. i don't know they just came to my brain it's like i want those i want that bmx is that bike like i want those things so it's like in your brain i feel like things that you do little things that you do little things that you like it's like people think back to that like oh, i love that little thing and i love that little thing you're very much of an individual there's a lot that people think back to with you um because you're very unique and i feel like people have unique experiences with you as well because that rubs off onto them um if you guys travel like if you guys are constantly moving about um traveling whether it's like around the world or just around the country that you're in um i feel like people may keep up with that or think about that or because i see somebody like looking at your social media like oh my god look what they are like oh wow like there's a lot of that and it's like you may post a story of like a really cool like fairground you're on or something and it's like that stays in somebody's head it's almost like i want to do that i want to have a story of me on a playground in the middle of brazil like i want to do that like it's that type of thing um but also it's like the spiritual journey too like maybe you guys grow and evolve a lot and people are like this was them then this is them now like they've switched this aesthetic to this aesthetic and they've grown from this to this so it's like that sort of thing as well because i see a lot of constant movement with you um but i feel like you're somebody that's just very courageous very forward moving i feel like you're somebody that's very um very fun and i think that's what people remember about you and i think that you rub off on people so then people like people may have like crazy stories in their life 
um, but they're with you. So it's like, oh, I always think back to that time I went to uh, Tunisia and it's like, but you were there. So it's like, they remember that because you were there. And that's like a highlight of their life, <laughs> you know? It's like, yeah, Tunisia was great. You know, that was a fun time. But it was like, you were the one that planned the trip. You were the one that told them to go. You were the one that invited them, you know? So it's that's why you're remembered in a way. It's quite, quite cute, actually. I love that. Because I saw a quote the other day, um, and it was like, we're kind of like, a, what, we're made up of everybody else in the sense of like, our favorite coffee may be the coffee that somebody's friend suggested to us once in like 2013 and now we always get that coffee and that scent of deodorant that we have you know our sister told us to get that 10 years ago and now we always get it and that restaurant that's our favorite that was you know a restaurant that was introduced by our ex at one point and now it's our favorite we're created from all these little things that people kind of share with us and hand to us and inspire us with and we're all parts of each other in that way and I feel like you fit in a lot of people's stories of like I did this with this person I did this with this person you know I feel like you fit in that quite well it's actually really lovely love that so that is what I have for you pal four I really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did I'm sending you guys all of my love I hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching